Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a 2020 Libtech T Rice Pro wide snowboard. A great deck for anyone with size 11 feet and larger that wants an all mountain board that has a freestyle influence that's for intermediate to advanced level and skill. The last thing that you want if you're a big footed rider is catching your heels and your toes on the snow and having that cause you to fall. That's why I like to ride wide boards as my daily drivers because I have a size 11 boot. The T-Rice Pro wide is a great deck because it's a true twin board. It has a centered style stance. So if you have a freestyle influence kind of all over the mountain, not just in the parks, you can ride it regular and switch and the boards can feel the exact same. It does feature a C2 profile shape. And a lot of people say that the C2 profile is like the perfect profile from LibTech. Travis Rice thinks that, and that's why he puts it in the T-Rice Pro Wide. The profile shape, C2, can be set on flat snow, and it's gonna have a little bit of a teeter-totter to it. It's kind of right in the middle of the aggression and floaty style spectrum that LibTech has to offer. The rocket between the feet gives the board a little bit of teeter-totter and kind of a loose, kind of surfy style feel. And then there's camber underneath each foot to the contact points, and that nice camber arc provides Lots and lots of uh, pop when it's flat base, and then good control while you're on an edge in combination with magnet traction edges. Libtex made in the USA, they build their boards ultra strong and they have zero waste in the manufacturing process, which is actually a really cool thing. And uh, you know, they do wonderful things in different blends and combinations of woods, like this HP or horsepower style construction that you find in the T-Rice Pro Wide. There's 60% Aspen and 40% Polonia that actually keeps this board nice and lightweight. And that wood core has Tri-X fiberglass on top that gives the board just a little extra energy. And then Bi-X fiberglass on bottom, which kind of mellows it out and makes it more maneuverable than having a Tri-X, Tri-X style blend. Now, the boards are built strong. That's one reason that T-Rice rides them. They, they hold up to the test of time. So even if you have a, a T-Rice board or, a, or just a LibTech board in general, they're gonna last multiple seasons, not just one season. And one way that LibTech is able to do that is because they do kind of a double sidewall. A sidewall uh, that on the internal side is actually a birch style wood, and then on the exterior is an ultra high molecular weighted sidewall. They're ultra strong, and they work really well, of course, with that mad attraction edge. The magic direction edges is uh, actually seven serrations, seven kind of bumps that help you to grip on really firm snow. I ride in Minnesota most of the time, and most of the time I ride hard pack, and that matted traction edge really helps you to stay on a line and not slip up. But with that C2 profile shape, if you do happen to take the deck in some deeper snow, because it has a, overall a rocker hybrid profile, it's actually gonna float quite a bit better than a traditional camber style board. And then on the bottom is this. This is a centered style base, not a TNT base that you'll find in a lot of horsepower style construction LibTech boards. The centered base is gonna be a lot faster, but you're gonna need to maintain it throughout the season. And if you kind of are stepping up into the boards of this realm, the T-Rice Pro Wide, you're gonna to wanna to have a centered style base. If you're a big footed rider, you wanna take a deck everywhere and have a freestyle influence, get this thing. This is the T-Rice Pro Wide. You can see it at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description. Leave a comment or a question, let me know what you think of it. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more boards there, and hopefully I'll see you on snow. Peace. Yeah.